Welcome to this drive trying out Tesla's FSD beta. Here are my settings. And here's how you know that the full self-driving is in control. Now, on to the video. All right, so as the title shows, this is the first time I get to test the FSD 9 beta in, well, flooding rain. So, oh, okay, it won't kick in yet, it won't kick in, there we go. So I actually put it on while we're in this roundabout here. It will not do this very well, but that's not, it's, it's never been able to do this well. Although, this is much better than it's ever done it before. Actually, no, this is actually very well done. I take that back. So uh, yeah, that was one of the first times it can do a roundabout fully around very well. All right, got this truck turning into this construction place. Wow, and it goes around them, even across the yellow line to make it happen. Good job. So overall, this has been amazing. A lot better than the um, previous version. I did drive earlier in this rain when it was actually a little bit harder than this, and the roads were actually flooded. Um, only over there is kind of flooded now. Um, and it's uh, sometimes it seemed like I had trouble seeing the lines, which happens to me as well. But I can like kind of guess where it's going to be based on what I know already of roads. Um, I don't know if that's even a possibility for AI at the moment. So we'll see. Now this intersection is well three lanes on both sides, and uh, you can't see, so you kind of got to edge out. And hope for the best. Now there's a bunch of cars coming here. Good. It's all those bricked up. Beautiful. And now it should be able to clear to go through. Goes through. Now I'm gonna be a little more cautious because I am um, not going 47. Because I have never done it in the rain for more than a, a couple of minutes, a minute or two. So um, yeah, I don't know what it'll do, when it'll fail. This is still a beta, as I said. It's definitely not ready for public consumption, but it is at a point where those of us that are testing it can see that we're very much along the way, if not mostly there already. So if it's if you're not aware already, the old version of Tesla Autopilot would use the radar and the cameras built in to do the uh, to do uh, to uh, to do full self driving. I have no idea why we changed lanes, but okay. Um, the new version, however, only relies on cameras. So there's been a lot of so I like that right there. You can't see the lines, and there it is. So this is a very good indication. I don't know what radar wouldn't have helped at all either, there either, but I've never had it do that before in the rain. Um, so I'm assuming it's because the new camera system hasn't gotten used to that yet. Um, and I basically think it needs a way to see ahead and kind of estimate where the road would be based on how roads are. Oh, okay. And this is something new that it, had, it didn't do before either. When it had to cross over multiple lanes, that's not good. Avoid that. Um, it would jump to one lane and then wait to go over to the next one. Now. I haven't tested on the highway, but on the roads, it just goes over the two lanes like you and I would. So I find that to be fantastic because you can't make it if you try to go one lane at a time a lot of times for the turn you want to make. I have noticed it does this weird thing after I've been using it for a while where it'll, where it'll just kind of change lanes without any rhyme or reason that I can discern. But I let it do its thing because it's not unsafe, there's no cars in the way. so. Oh, I also notice in the rain. So normally, when the light turns green and it's dry, it goes to that light like like they are um, quickly, um, very very perfectly, I'd say. Um, but it seems like and I just I, I just tested a few minutes before I started recording. In the rain, though, it um, it hesitates a little more, which it should do if it's unsure what to do. Um, so I guess as it gets better and as we train it, I should, wish I should have sent that one. I forgot. Um, 
able to get better at it. I normally report like every single thing when I'm driving by myself. Um, but when I'm on a video, I forget a lot of times. over there on your phone there still there she's looking straight down she's not even looking there. Uh -huh. like i don't get it just drive get to where you're going pull over <laughs> and you're distracted time flies by a lot faster so at 15 30 seconds at a light a lot faster when you're not paying attention After these cars pass, I want to show you something. I don't know if it's a problem right now, um, but I know on the highway, and this is what my concern was, is on the highway, the side cameras, the, um, the ones that face backwards, get completely blocked by water and the rear view camera. Um, so I have no idea. Well, usually it doesn't let you change lanes when that happens, but I think that's a problem that needs to be solved if it's gonna be full self-driving because you can't have the cameras get blocked. So you either need a way to clean up the camera or to make it so that rain droplets don't form there. Let's see if it shows up now. Right, so this one's gonna get worse, but that's that's already pretty much unusable for, the, for driving at all. These two are pretty clear right now, but they do get much worse. Like they get, you can't see anything out of them. You can't, it's just whatever it is, maybe like a drop of water there that's making it all blurry and impossible to see. So, I did see, I think, Dirty Tesla. Um, he posted a video with it driving and his own, on the highway I think it was, did not get any rain on it, which is very unusual. And he said so as well, I think, in his video. So, um, maybe the design is just um, just better so it doesn't avoid that even happening altogether, which is what exactly what they need. But the next thing is, what if you drive through, you know, just it just gets dirty. Because I know I keep mine clean just because I'm like that, but you know I know the vast majority of people I know just kind of live there. They don't even clean their car until actually I used to be like that too. Don't even clean their car for like well, the whole year, and so that that camera would be just a crusty mess, you know, if it was getting wet and drying off after every rain. So we'll see. Um, I mean that's something I would have thought of ahead of time. I think. But uh, maybe it just doesn't get that bad, and I, they did think of it, and I just, I'm over, overhyping it. So I will tell you, I did this run, I was driving, when it started raining, I was already driving this route, and it was much harder rain, though. Um, and it had more trouble, um, particularly seeing that line in the middle. It didn't drift like it did back there, but it, um, it, has, it slowed down, like it was unsure what it was doing. It hasn't done that since this is the route it did it on. It didn't do it since this time, so I'm not sure it's because of the easier rain or it just picks it up that fast on the car itself. So this is not a turning lane, and it did not do that last time. I don't know why I did it this time. All right. That was very odd. I, I, I know I could see those lines. I'm not sure why I chose to or whether to navigate autopilot unavailable, even though it's still going to do it. Okay, good. Making this turn. I still want those turns to be better. It was too wide. I mean, there was no other cars coming, so it didn't matter, but it's just still be, it's not necessary to go that wide. You can see the sidewalk. I only assume it goes that wide so it can view better. My personal thing is that I should have another camera facing literally out that way to see to, to see exactly that, to see down the uh, side of the, uh, down the uh, intersections. I mean, that way you can see miles down the road and make a choice. You know, like that. Oh, I know you must be getting soaked out here. <laughs> rains. Like I said, this rain's a lot lighter than it was when I first started. If you guys haven't seen this new layout, it is way more, it's, it's more entertaining to look at 
that's first thing it shows way more things so even if cars are like parked if it's within eyesight of the camera it'll show it people dozens it'll show them dozens of cars 20 or more cars i've counted at one time it'll show them all and it'll show brake lights for cars as well um it'd be interesting to see if it shows them i haven't driven at night with it yet it'd be interesting if, if it um shows them like the uh just the regular lights uh, versus the brake lights i can't see it. Well, that car is probably too far now that car has brake lights oh actually it did show the brake lights i'll be damned so it can tell the difference between just the uh, running lights and the uh, brake lights yeah see brake lights there this is a stop sign so you can see his brake lights are on, so it's showing all the cars. I, th I think what this means is waiting for them to do something. Now, this is a four-way thing, so we should go, and it is going. Very slowly, but it's going. <laughs> I mean, that truck was almost about to say, I'm about to go anyway. I think we should speed that up. You saw it was safe. It was safe to go. I don't want to say, tell the car to follow that car, but gets hit first. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost at the end of this run. Um, so I did very well. Um, we do have uh, in Texas, I mean uh, McKinney, Texas. And, um, and uh, we do <laughs> the thunderstorms roll in here heavy and hard. They don't usually last very long, but they come in super strong. Alright, so we're here for our left turn. <laughs> I guess that line disappeared, so it kind of went over there a little bit. But it fixed itself. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. So twice I've been driving and just stopped at the light. It's not like it just changed, but some reason people just like to hit me in the back for some reason. When I'm stopped. I don't understand it. With my old car and with this car. It makes no sense because I've you know it's not like the light just changed to red it's been red a line of cars are here and I get hit in the back so I, I can't even explain it anymore one was a young girl she was obviously texting um, and one was a uh, guy who was working I think he was just distracted with his work while he was driving which is of course also the same as texting while driving all right so we've reached our first stop I am gonna try to go back I'm going to take over now and park in this lot, get out everybody here in the way, and then go back. So um, if that anything interesting happens, I'll upload that one as well. Um, but uh, it's the same route, just backwards, so probably not. Alright, see you guys on the next one.